look at that. We are above Microtech. I did say we would come back and have a look at this place. This is all new to me as well. I've only been to New Babbage. And yesterday I'd done a mining mission here. Um, but I just sort of went to the mine, found the body, done my mining and got out of there. So this is my first look. And I don't know if this is... It is clear. It doesn't look like there's snow there. So, I don't know if this is forest or is it like uh, lava. Let's have a look around here and check it out. I think this is one of the biggest planets in the universe so far. I'm going to just slow down a bit because we want to take in the sights. I'm not in a rush here. Yeah, I don't think that's the forest. Somehow. Looks like it's a uh, scorched earth. <laughs> this one is still too high up. Man, that looks awesome. Oh, hang on. It's getting green. Looks like it might be going green. Slow down a tad. Oh, I don't think it's forest though. It's like green fields with man. A ton of rocks. Now let me straighten up. Thought I heard another ship around. Let me just scan. Ah, oh, it seems seems fine. Wow, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, in the middle of all the ice, we have this. And also, like I haven't been there yet, like I said, this is all pretty new to me as well. There is a forest. I've seen people go there on YouTube, but yeah, I've, I haven't been there yet. I don't think I'm going to land at this part, mainly because it's so rocky. that over there? I think it's just a rock. Let me just straighten the ship up here. Has someone had to go up again and we to find the forest area? Oh man, I'm getting a bit of lag there. But as you can see, pretty big but it's not huge and there's a black thing out there I don't know what it is I'm gonna go I oh know it's probably just a rock right let's have a look this thing doesn't handle as good as the Hornet I will say that but it's still not too bad for its size I suppose what is that A big square rock. Alright. I think it's just the draw distance playing game. Man, it's pretty cool though. Now, I did see. Star Citizen released a thing called the Predators and they showed an animal that will live on Microtech and you'll be able to hunt it and also other beasts that will be coming in the game living on other planets so that will be interesting but some of them you'll need a hunting party you won't be able to hunt it yourself because some of them are, are big as this uh, <laughs> as this freelancer here almost there's a big crab thing man there's uh, cows there's like bears sort of like you know like a space bear there's like a wolf type animal or a jackal man they look really cool too some like the one that lived here it's like a big uh, yeti you'd probably be able to hunt by yourself 
but there's a few of them there you're gonna need or that you know one of them there maybe two of them you're gonna need a hunting party because the thing will kill you you know you need more than just an smg or a sniper gun to kill kill them i think all right so we're gonna keep going here Like I said, this is a first for me as well. I've never really flown over Microtech. And man, now you can see where the ice ball bit is going. But there is forest down there. But I'm talking about this a bit just like we flew through with no ice and there's all the trees and forest. Now, it might be on the other side of the planet. I'm really not sure. I thought we'd just have a fly around, have a look at Microtech. And when I find a clear bit, we'll all land and have a little look around. Now it's freezing out there. Luckily there doesn't appear to be a blizzard, so that is good. Ah, that is just so cool. And this freelancer sounds awesome. Just flying at this height. Oh. I can see things pop in and out every now and again. Now I've got my graphics on high, there is another setting very high. Depends on how the server feels, and what, what I, setting I use, we're just on high today. It's still a bit early, so there's probably a few people on the server. And there is a thing on these servers called the 32k crash. That one just crashed the whole server. Hopefully we don't get that while we're out here today. I have been lucky. This uh, patch is very stable. You can see how big these planets are. Like, I don't know how long it'll take you to walk around the planet. And now you'd need a ton of food and water to take with you to get all the way around. You probably wouldn't be able to do it. Alright, we're going to keep going until we find something a little bit more interesting. Then we'll probably land and get out and have a look around. I thought we might park here for a minute. I just saw some, there's some interesting rocks here. I don't know if I'm seeing them right. Let's put the landing gear down. I'll get down a little bit. Just got to watch the rocks. They're white and hard to see because of the snow. I don't want to make the ship land crazily. We're just in here, should be fine. Uh, let's slow it down. Uh, we have landed, man. I'm gonna leave the engine and stuff on. Now, when we get out, you'll see my new suit that I'm wearing. It's pretty damn cool. Let's have a look. Look at that, man. Now, this suit, you can buy it at uh, Tammy and Sons on Lawville. You go to Hurston, go to Lawville. It's very dear. Like, the core with the arms and legs, they're all in one piece, is 10500 And that helmet, I think, is 5100 But this is... Uh, also, see the backpack holds double than the rucksack. So, when you fill this up, you probably get about 24,000 worth of minerals in it. And you can see we're icing up now. You can just see us icing up. Man, that is crazy. I'm going to turn the sound up. Excuse me a minute. Because I've been hearing some really good sounds here. Let's see if you can hear him as well. Oh man, look at me now. So if you stay out here, you'll just turn white. You'll be iced up. I was going to go over here and look at these rocks. It looks like they had a hole in the middle of them. Now if we look... On the inside view, oh, it's hard to see because everything's white. 
There's a little temperature gauge down the bottom near the oxygen. Oh, it just went away then. I think it's minus 25. There it is there. But if there's a blizzard here, it can get a lot, lot colder. Look at this thing. Hear that sound? I don't think the eddies are out here yet, are they? Hey? I don't think so. Do I have my pistol still? I do. There we go. I got all the weapons, man. Look at me. Have a look. Watch this. Damn, look at that. Natural camo. You don't need anything, man. Just wear this out here, wait five minutes, and you're, you're wearing a camo. Man, that is crazy. All right, we'll get back to the ship. I'll try and find this forest area. But this is beautiful. Like for my hunter called the wild friends. I use it to appreciate a good outdoors. And realism, this has got it, man. When you hear like the sky, there's a good sky. Like the clouds will move. Pretty much like the call of the wild. You can hear the footsteps, the footprints. And let's have a look how white I am. Oh man, I am just iced up. All except for my screen. Wow, that is so cool. There you go, it's minus 32. I think that says it's up there. Oh, minus 33. So that's why you need these suits. I think they can go down to minus 200 or something. And we stand that. Man, imagine hunting out here. Can you imagine that? Like when they bring out this Yeti and you can come to Microtech, you'll be able to hunt it. And you'll be able to hunt the Yeti by yourself, but no doubt if it gets a hold of you, you're gonna be dead. Anyway, I'm gonna get back in the ship. We'll try and find another spot to land. This is very nice though. And we'll have a look around. Oh man, check it out. I don't know if that's a, that should be an ice lake, right? <laughs> or is it just water? I think it's a lake. That'd be ice though. Well, it's on the edges it is. Let's get closer. Yeah, that's, I wonder if, if I landed on it, it would be safe. We don't know. Oh wow, no, that's uh, that could be liquid. Look at that, it's got icebergs stuff in it. Oh, no, it's ice, what is that? I, I'm a bit worried to land on it actually. Looks like a big ocean, doesn't it? Man, that is so cool. You gotta, you gotta get in one of these and just fly around. It's just so relaxing and enjoyable. And flying low over these planets, man, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna land on that, just in case. Imagine the freelance that goes to the bottom. No! <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep going. So what we find here. You can see where you could have polar bear and yetis and stuff on this uh, planet and be able to hunt them. Like, it's just perfect for them, isn't it? Man, that'd be awesome. So they're still in progress. Like, there's no word on when creatures and animal type things will come into the game. But they are coming in. And you will be able to hunt them. So... That is a bonus, man. 
I look forward to bringing out a hunting party. <laughs> Take down a few big ones. You might have to bring an ambulance, <laughs> a hospital ship, just in case. Oh man, looks like we've got a big mountain range up here. many people out today although once you get on one of these planets if you're not near any uh, mining companies or agricultural things where you can pick up boxes and do missions you might not run into anyone that is for sure you may not run into anyone this looks pretty interesting This is handling not too bad. I still prefer the Hornet. <laughs> it's close to the ground. This isn't too bad. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh, I still haven't found the forest. We might not find it today. Um, you know, not in a big hurry to see the whole planet. And you're never going to see the whole planet. I've never seen the whole planet there, any of them here yet. Because they're too big. Now, eventually, you will be able to buy land here. Anywhere. As long as it's in new EE area. Like it's controlled by the people that run this section. And it's like a pole, you buy it, when you survey the ground, you, once you stick it in, you get, I think, four by four. It's like four, four acres or something. Four kilometers, maybe it's four kilometers by four kilometers. So huge, like really big. And you can mine there and, you know, put a landing pad and get a, like a, a shelter built there. So a lot of things coming into this game, they're not here yet. Right, remember this is in Alpha. And I imagine the Org I'm in will have a base. Like they're the third largest uh, private military corporation in the universe at the moment. So I imagine we will have a base. You now a private base that will be protected by turrets and people that go in there, you know, people that sort of live there and hang around there. Oh man, we are in a blizzard. Look at the way the weather changed. Now, if we got out the ship now and walked around, it'd probably be minus 200 or minus 70 or, you know, it'd be something crazy. What's it look like from in here? And you can see, looking through the Freelancer, like this view, it's like looking through a motorbike helmet. Some people don't like it. I'm used to it, and I don't mind it, because when you're out in space, there's actually, if you're towards, heading towards the sun, it's a lot of glare, but you can actually position this where you don't get as much glare. So, Freelancer has, you know, its pros as well as its cons. Oh man, we have flown into a blizzard. I'm going to get down a little bit closer. That we do have mountains around. Just fly over the top of this one. And I'll try and find somewhere a little bit more clearer so we get a better view. And man, that is just crazy. Look at that. Now, that is generated weather, just automatically generated. This storm whipped up, and now we're in the middle of it. Some of the planets have really inclement weather. If you get a storm coming in, man, it goes vicious. Believe me. Okay, I've climbed, <laughs> as you can see. I'm trying to find, I can't find where the forest pit is. I probably have to look from uh, way up there and look down. No, let's just point it back this way. There you go, about 21,000 up. Now look at the size of this planet. Now you can walk right around it if you could make it. 
Um, yeah, it's just, it is massive, man. So, like, once again, my call to wild people, they'll know how big a, a reserve is. Man, this is, uh, this is a billion times bigger. And one day, you'll be able to hunt here. There are probably certain areas where the animals hang around more than other areas, but, you know what I mean? Once you work out where that is, you know, bring a hunting party in a spaceship. Man, imagine that. And there is sniper guns in the game. Every patch, more guns come out, usually. One or two. So by the time these animals come out, there might be proper hunting weapons. I have no idea. But all types of SMGs and uh, energy weapons, energy rifles. So yeah, I could have, it's going to be awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll fly around a bit. Then I'm going to head down and we'll land again. I can might as well show the ice bit because it is pretty much a big ice ball. Okay, check it out. I fast travel to a place. Let's have a look outside. Now this. Uh, what is this? Is, is this what I'm looking for? Well, we're coming down it pretty fast. 1200. <laughs> eh? I'll slow it down soon. But the atmosphere will take care of that. Yeah, look at this down here. So once again, in the middle of the ice. I don't think this is the forest again. This is like it looks volcanic or something. Oh, this could be a mining facility that I was aiming at. Where is that here? There it is, right in front of us. 13 k's away. Yeah, this looks uh, yeah, it's pretty cool though. Once again, I, I've fast traveled 234 k's from where we were back there. Still on the same planet, still on the same side of the planet. And look how big it is. So that's why I like coming here. These things are huge, these planets. Like I said, I've never seen a whole planet before. Like you do exploration like this, you see parts of it, and before you know it, you're at another planet doing something else. So, yeah, once this whole universe is in place, man, uh, it's pretty cool. A little bit like where we were before. We might land at this place. Where is it now? Must be close. I can't see it now, we've come down too low. Yeah, this is awesome, man. I like the, you know, variation you get right in the middle of an ice ball, you get this. So cool. Let's fly through here and not crash. If you're on the ground and this flew over, they sound so awesome when they fly over. It's like some sort of crazy military jet, you know, flying over. Right, let's skim the top of this thing, man. Beautiful. Man. Yeah, so there could be people around here that live at the facility right in this area here. But that's cool. Usually doesn't bother me. We're just down for a bit of fun anyway. Have a you know, a bit of look around. I said we'd come and explore Microtech, so why not? What is this in here? Looks 
like a crater. So this is sort of foresty. This isn't the part I'm talking about. We might land here and have a look though. Just at the contrast from where we were to where we are now. When we walked around on the ice before. It was like you could almost hear the cracking sound and, and that of the ice. Like the strain and stress. Alright, so let me come down slowly. Make sure there's no big rocks under the freelancer. Because it can upset <laughs> the ship a bit. Slowly down. There we go. I'm going to leave it on once again. Alright, so let's get out. I'm not worried about anyone stealing the ship, so I don't think there's anyone out here. And look at that. Look at the contrast now. From where we were before. Wow, we. Now this will all improve, I imagine, like the wind movement of trees and on the ground. You can see it is very windy. And if it's too windy, you can actually blow your ship when you're down low. It can blow it a bit sideways. And they're going to bring more of that into the game. So you have to control your ship, you know, better. And they'll probably change the flying part of it too, the dynamics a bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They've even got flowers here, look at that. So that should have stuff you can just pick up and it's worth money. Like, I don't know, just something. Since this suit, there we go, we've got no ice on us now, so there we go. It's a sort of ready black colour, or I don't know, maybe a pink colour. You can get them in yellow too. I didn't mind, you know, I just, I was at, at a Port Trestle of the Yellow and at uh, Lawville, they're this colour. So you should be able to mine here. Maybe you can't. Maybe you need a, a proper mining ship. Why can't I jump up there? Am I too fat and heavy in this suit? And check it out. Yeah, you wouldn't know we're on an ice planet. There you can see a bit of ice. But, you know, once you're in this bowl here, you wouldn't even know you're on an ice planet. You could set up a tent here. I just think you're out in the in the wild. Yeah, but I can't wait till animals are roaming these planets and we can hunt them. I've heard people saying make them as pets, but some of these things won't want to be your pet, believe me. Just showing the they had the concept art. I might show some pictures of it as I'm talking now. But yeah, they showed the concept art and some of them really look you know they're going to kill you, these things. There's one crab thing that, when it's down, not standing up, it can look like a big pile of rocks. And you could actually climb up on it and not know. And then the thing stands up, you know, and wants to kill you. Man, this is awesome. My ship blends in, doesn't it? Now my, it's got camo. It'd be harder to see. Although, I've left everything on, so I'd be putting out a signature. If someone did fly over, it would be shot at. Man, this is so cool. But there is other parts here. What is that there? Oh, it's just a rock. See how the shadow, when you pull back, looks like something standing there, doesn't it?
Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I might head back to Microtech. There's the, look at that. That's a, a good picture, isn't it? The wind. You see the grass moving, the trees behind it. And we're on an ice planet. You wouldn't believe it. But that wind, man, the sound of it. You can almost feel the wind, believe me. Yeah, this is a good uh, backpack. This fits twice as much as the rucksack. I, I like this uh, suit. It's not too bad. I have three armors now. I know. I've gone crazy. I usually don't own that many, but yeah. own <laughs> own three now, I think. But that's alright. Better to have more than not enough. Oh, will I be able to get up here? Oh, yeah. Too good. Uh, I'll close this up. Hopefully no one ran on and they'll hijack me. I doubt it though. It does happen in this game. People will sneak on your ship. And when you're flying, they'll probably shoot you in the back of the head or hijack you. Very nice. <laughs> That's a bit of fun role play right there. Launch sequence complete. It is. Landing gear up. All right, better get above the trees. Let's have a look outside here. I don't know, maybe this goes big, longer than I thought. Let's have a look here. All right, and a little bit further on here. I thought it was just that little bowl bit we're in. Obviously, I was wrong. Yeah, that is pretty cool, isn't it? I hope you're enjoying this look at Microtech. Like I said, this is all new to me. I haven't been out here. It's nice, finally, to get here and do this. I had trouble with the other patches. This one seems very, very stable. So, that is cool. Means I can make a few videos about the game. A little bit of catch up. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big area. Man, look at that. That looks so cool. You really need to be in one of these to feel, you know, you really feel like you're in a spaceship. Especially when you're in this view and you're just flying around. You really feel like, you know. All right, my hydrogen's getting low. I'll probably have to go up, because we flew 37 million miles or kilometers, whatever it is, to get here from Hurston. And I've been flying around for a bit. So I'm gonna do and I head back to Microtech and I will park this thing up. All right, look behind us now. You can see how big that mark is. And surrounded by ice. So I'm going to head back to New Babbage and we'll land and probably end the video there. I hope you enjoyed that little look at Microtech. As you can see, it is so big that we're never going to see it all in one hit. There is parts still I haven't seen that I want to and we'll save that for next time. Alright, we're above New Babbage, so we're going to fast travel in there. It's always pretty cool. So we can see from outside. We're coming in on a weird angle, but no worries. The ship will turn around and pretty much straighten up right in front of New Babbage. We'll probably have about 20 k's or so to fly. Oh, appear to be upside down. It's awesome. All right, and there it is there. It is complete. Now, we've got to head for... I've got to make sure which end of the city am I at. Because we've got to head for the... Spaceport. Which I don't think that's it in front of us. Now, we've flown through this before in the Aurora. When we first came to New Babbage and we had a look. 
It is a beautiful city. Ah, uh, there we go. Rendering is starting to work. Like we are 72. Thousand feet up, 66 now. Ah, oh, look at that. Let's have a look from the outside, man. Yeah, that looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, up on the hill there. I'm pretty sure. Let me get back, back into an inside view for a tick. Yeah, up on the hill there at the back. I'm pretty sure that's where I've got to go. If I remember rightly. Alright, uh, getting a little bit of lag now that we're in the city. I really have to change this game onto a SSD. So I've got to get another SSD. Alright, my ship is just... Have I pressed Z? Ah, uh, that's my bad. I pressed uh, Z. Or Z. And that makes... <laughs> you go into free look mode. Which can be bad. Look at that, man. Yeah, see the... I think you, even if you just follow the railway, railway line, that should take us to the spaceport. That's not it over there, is it? Uh, not sure. I'm going to keep going this way. Because I feel it is over here. I'm hoping it is. So as you can see, you don't get the best view out of a Freelancer front window. Not like some other uh, craft, you will get a ton better view. Now why am I not... Uh, maybe I've come in on the city on a different angle. Gonna head out this way first. Ah, see at the back there? I think that could be it there. I'm hoping, or it's that thing on the hill over there. Alright, I'm looking for landmarks that I know. I think I've just come in on the wrong angle. Alright, this is it. Oh no, 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 no. I'm scared. Just losing control there. Yeah, I think I've just come in on the wrong angle. Oh man, look at that sun there. Yeah, it could be in front of us. I'm gonna check where this railway line goes here. That's it either. Man, we're close to the buildings there. Look at that. And that is just so awesome when you do stuff like this. That's what I like about this game. Just the weird crap you can do, really, that you don't do in other games. And here we are just hovering above the city because I am lost. Nothing new. Nothing new there. Right, I'm gonna head back and try and find out what I've done wrong. Restricted area below. Alright, I'm lifting, getting up. So I know that white building in front of us is I'm pretty sure that habitation unit's where you live. And I usually fly right past that going to the airport. So I don't know what I've done now. But we do get a good look at this city. Oh, there it is behind us. See the lights in the mountain? Yeah, I was going the wrong way. So now I'm confident where I'm going. So what I've got to do is look for a landmark. Which is, see the white building there? Looks like it's got a BMW emblem on it. Which it isn't a BMW emblem. It just sort of looks like one from this distance. I know that building really well. You know, not that, I, you know, I don't... <laughs> I just, looking at it, I know every time I go to the airport or spaceport, I go past it. So I went right to the other end of the city, which was my bad. 
Yeah, so now you can tell it's not a BMW emblem. You can fly through that in that middle. I'm not sure the Freelancer would fit, so we're not trying it. I have done it in a... And an Aurora, I think I've done it in. Or maybe it was the Hornet. Right, this uh, spaceport too. Sometimes you get to fly straight in. They have like a garage you're flying through. See the trains there moving along the line? There's one right in front of the ship now. And there the trains you catch. There, there's one again in front of us from where you live to the spaceport. It's good to see it from the outside. And see that white bubble moving ahead in front of us on the tracks. There's one coming out, two. Two coming out. And one on one track, one on the other. So that is pretty cool. One's probably going to the what is that a business district here. Oh they have the habitat. And then the commons, don't they? Oh, here we are. Awesome man, we made it without dying. So you can see someone's taken off there. Alright, so it's gonna get a little bit closer, we're gonna power down a bit. We don't want to do 143 miles an hour, gaze an hour coming in. Alright, there it is. So I'll get inside here and look at our menu. Uh, menu. And we're going to go to comms and call them. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. There we go. No problem. And it's right in front of us by the looks of it. See the little tall emblem? That's where we've got to go. Oh, shit feels a bit weird. Alright, I'm just going a bit sideways here. Yeah, it's right here we've got to go in. So I'm going to put my landing gear down now. I will have to take an inside view again. Like, uh, you know, I want to crash my freelancer. Not that I haven't done that before, but <laughs> I don't want to do it today. How oh, beautiful, man. This has been a great trip. I really enjoyed that. Just flying around and exploring. I don't have to be making money in this game. Like, I know a lot of people they come out and every day they want to make money. I'm not like that. This isn't my first MMO. Like I played a World of Warcraft for years and you can grind like crazy and end up not enjoying the game as much. You've got to take that time just to stop. You know what I mean? Just to stop and enjoy yourself. Explore. Look around. See what's going on out there. Landing successful. Alright, please. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. And power off, please. System off. Alright, let's have a look out here. Now, I'm going to go out the back door. I had a problem with the side door getting in. It does it every now and again. It bugs out and you end up back outside the ship. It's usually when I get now, but getting in is a, is a pain. I thought we'd just go out here anyway. Oh wow, look at that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't want tip. Just close the door. See so the ship move then. Alright, so those freelancers, like, we're still in Alpha. Yeah, I just sort of right in the parking bay there. I probably could have went a bit more forward. But we have almost landed on that dot there. Where it says put your front pad by the looks of it. So there you go, guys. We are back at Microtech. Um... 
We're going to have another look around this planet because why wouldn't you? Like, seriously, let me turn around here like this. That might be alright. Let me look. And there we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back here on Microtech. I want to have another look around. I want to find that forest. Because, you know, I enjoyed just looking around today. I'm not here to mine today or make money. I'm just here to make a video. We'll have a look around. And we'll be back and we'll do another part two or part three of Microtech. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for dropping by. And I'll catch you on the next one.